Hello, this is YouTube video number one for me. I'm going to be doing a, an outline or a, a quick little video on um, a couple of different aspects of the Ubiquiti Edge Router 4. I really like this device. It's, it's a pretty cool little device. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, a factory reset just to show you how, uh, how that factory reset works. Basically, there's a small little button right in here where you can uh, you can reset this device to the factory defaults so let's just go ahead and take a look real quick of, of my current settings so as you can see I'm currently set up I've got um, just a basic settings here for my Ethernet uh, interfaces um, I've already run through uh, the basic setup wizard and just to show you that uh, that we're We've got some firewall policies in place as a result of that basic setup. And uh, all right, so let's just go back to the dashboard um, real quick. And uh, I'm going to get out of this. I'm going to open up my putty session and actually uh, view the, uh, the reboot when it happens or the uh, factory default. I'm going to press the button now. It takes a little while. All right, looks like it's starting. Now, a lot of people like to watch this go all the way through, so I'm just going to step back and uh, and let this thing go all the way through. In the meantime, while this thing is booting, I'm going to connect it up so that... Uh, the computer I'm on is actually connected to Ethernet Zero, and um, one of the one of the things that this does is um, allows me to connect to uh, IP address 192.168.1.1, which is going to be the default IP address when you do a factory restart, uh, a factory reset, or also when you first pull it out of the box. It's it's obviously uh, set to the factory uh, defaults. Of course, I'll have to change my Ethernet connections on my uh, computer itself so that I can talk to it. Looks like it's done. Gives you that information. Shows you what you need to connect to right there. So let's go ahead and change this real quick. All right. So my default gateway is 192.168.1.1. Address is uh, 1.22. All right, so the username when you first log into these things is UBNT, and the password is UBNT. Obviously, we're going to change that. I'm not going to dwell on that. You should know, change the default password. Um, so I'm not going to start the wizard just yet. Just want to show you a couple of quick things. Uh, if you remember, we didn't have anything, or we had everything configured up here on uh, Ethernet 0, Ethernet 1, and Ethernet 2. But as you can see, everything has been changed. There's nothing now set up if we go over to our firewall settings we look at our policies there's no policies whatsoever uh, we're just at our basic settings there's nothing going on over here all right so let's go ahead and go to our wizard i'm going to do a basic setup i always like to use ethernet zero as my uh, default wide area network ethernet connection um, I, uh, I'd like to do static IPs. Uh, obviously, I've done this before, so I'm just going to put in my, uh, my information. This one I actually screwed up. Needed to be 1.128. Try that again. 1.228. That's my DNS server. I'll show. I'll do another video on DNS, DNS forwarding, and how that all works. Um... So that's pretty much it for setting up the uh, Ethernet Zero. I'm also going to do my LAN side. And this is going to be 10.10.10.10. Um, I do not want to enable DHCP right now um, for optional 2. 10.10. Obviously, I've done this before. Just let it fill it in. All right, so again, um, change your password. I'm not going to dwell on that. A lot of people like to spend way too much time telling people to change the default password, but uh, 
If you don't know to change the default password, well, that's on you. All right, make sure everything's right. That looks good. I'm gonna. See, I got those two set up. I'm gonna hit apply. I'm gonna say apply changes, and we're gonna reboot. And yeah, I'm sure I want to reboot. All right, so might as well close that up. All right, so as you can see, um, this is a console setting right here that I have uh, with Putty open. It's not an SSH connection. Um, I'm connected directly to a serial port console on the front. Um, if you want to take a look at that, I'm connected right here to this console port. So I'm seeing everything. And it's, it's really a good idea on any of these devices um, to get familiar with being able to connect to the console and being able to do a little bit of command line uh, stuff because you never know when you're going to totally screw one of these things up and um, you're going to need to be able to get in and, and either fall back to a different configuration and hopefully the thing will come back alive or reboot after you've had a problem or something along those lines or maybe even upload a backup if you have to do it. Uh, um, I haven't done that yet to figure out how to I, I would imagine that this usb port i could like maybe get a usb uh, thumb drive and put a backup configuration file on there and then maybe use the console to mount that usb drive and then uh, and then copy it over i i haven't done any of that yet so i'm not sure if that's actually how it works um but uh it's something i'm going to probably try to do just to I always believe in, uh, in in backing up whatever you got and being able to practice how you're going to do a recovery if there are problems. But yep, looks like it's done. I need to go in here and change my Ethernet settings again. Okay, so um, I'm not going to enable uh, DNS forwarding. I'm going to save that for another video. But uh, um, the the Ubiquity router um, will actually act as a DNS forwarder. And you could actually put 10.10.1.1 here for your DNS uh, server. And um, when you hit the router, it will then forward to whatever name server you have set up on the device. And I'll, I'll go over that to, uh, on another video. But um, again, I'm just learning how to do YouTube videos. UBNT. Don't forget we changed the password. And, uh, yeah, I'm just learning how to do these YouTube videos. Uh, I, I Hopefully, they'll get better as I go along. Again, this is my very first one. Um, so, anyway, all right. So, as you can see, uh, we've got our configuration back up. We've got, uh, I've done the configuration. I'm, I'm actually connected to uh, Ethernet 1. Um, if we go look at our NAT firewall rules, we actually have some rule sets in place. Again, I'm learning these uh, this Edge Router 4, so um, how all this works. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to get a little more in-depth. Um, but these are just rule sets. Um, you can go in and actually look at the, the, the default rule sets that were set up. There's a, a allow, establish, the related, and then drop invalid states. Um, we're not really doing anything uh, right now. Um, this is just basically kind of protecting um, externally to internal but uh, there is a, uh, a NAT that's automatically set up called the uh, masquerade to Ethernet zero NAT and this is your outbound NAT so that everything works outbound wise that's why when I when I connected to this my uh, my Ethernet automatically came up and was able to talk to the internet and I can get out to the internet obviously uh, if I just click on that yeah I'm getting out to the internet without a problem so all right so a couple things that I wanted to do real quick um, while I had this up was that I wanted to look at uh, how to back up your system um, this is pretty easy so you can go down here and you can hit the download button and it will back a uh, back up I've already done this, um, so it's just going to back up the, the configuration file. And that was what I was talking about earlier, is, is maybe taking that, that, that backup and sticking it on a USB and then using the, um, the console to be able to, uh, to upload that. Obviously, you can upload, restore your configuration easily through the GUI, but what happens if you've got it so screwed up that you can't get to the GUI? So anyway, um, this is also where you put in, the, where the name server was put in, 
one of the things, the last thing I wanted to, to, to show you was um, what the configuration file looks like. And I've got two of these. Um, so the first one is going to be the basic. So it's like right after the reset, there's, there's just not a lot going on here in the configuration file. And, and it is a good idea to, uh, to get familiar with the configuration file, um, what it looks like. Um, this, like I said, this is right after the factory default reset. Um, I, I haven't run, I haven't run that basic setup wizard. As you can see for ET, uh, for Ethernet zero, address is 192.168.1.1. You know, we've got nothing set for for Ethernet one. We've got nothing set for Ethernet two, and nothing set for Ethernet three. Um, we've got a GUI set up so that we can uh, connect via port 80 and 443. Uh, that allows us to get in to actually do the configuration. Um, we go into the system side of it, and uh, this is the user account that we're using, UBNT. Obviously, I've changed the password, and, and uh, I've got a level of admin. Um, it's got some built-in um, NTP servers where it goes out and gets your time. Um, you can change those, I believe, if you want, or you can leave those. It doesn't, doesn't really matter. Unless, of course, those servers are down, then it does matter. But um, time zone is set to UTC. I think you could go in and set that to whatever your local time is so that you get, uh, when your logs come in, you'll get better time. Um, all right. So anyway, that's what uh, that's what the uh, right after a reset. And then after you do the, um, after you do the wizard the basic wizard you get a little more information here it, it starts setting up more stuff it sets up your firewall stuff um wan in is that one rule set and then we we saw the two rules that were in that rule set and then there's a wan local which is another rule set um and i believe all these are applied um so if, if you if you go down so this is these these are the rule sets and then if you go down here and you look at the interfaces you're going to see that um, Ethernet zero now is applying those two rule sets to that particular interface and also you see where I've changed the IP address here um, Ethernet one now has its own IP address and Ethernet two now has its own IP address so uh, those are the gateways for those particular network segments. Go down a little farther. Um, looks like I had uh, left um, DHCP server enabled on LAN 2. Um, not a big deal or on Ethernet 2 that, that has my 10.10.2 network. Um, I can always turn that off if I want, but again, not a big deal. And then the DNS forwarding that I was talking about, the here, here's the configuration for that. We show that we're listening on... ETH1 and ETH2, so I believe DNS is port 53, so it's basically listening in for DNS um, queries on port 53 for those interfaces, and then if you have it set to point two, those interfaces, um, it will then forward that DNS request up to uh, whatever DNS servers you have in that name server area that I showed you earlier. Here's that NAT rule on ethernet zero for masquerading this is going outbound and it shows you outbound interface and uh, we've got uh, port 22 enabled um, I would imagine that's going to be on the uh, ETH one but uh, I'm not sure how uh, how that works just yet and uh, everything else is pretty much the same all right, so I'm going to go ahead and, and end this video, and uh, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, I'm going to do more videos like this, um, just pick different aspects of different devices that I'm interested in. Right now, I'm interested in this uh, Edge Router 4. I'm going to play with it some more. I'm probably going to do some Juniper stuff. I'm probably going to do some Fortinet stuff. I've got a bunch of FortiGate um, firewalls that I, I've been playing with, and, uh, you know, just whatever, whatever uh, I find interesting. Uh, there's certain aspects. I'm not going to get into every single little thing that you can do on these things, but uh, obviously, I think this router is pretty nice, and and it's got a great interface. So uh, I'm definitely going to spend some time and do some more stuff with this, and uh, and I'll learn if if I get something wrong. Um, feel free to comment. Um, feel free to subscribe. Feel free to hit the like button. 
um, do whatever whatever you want to do, and uh, and hopefully uh, you'll find uh, these videos interesting. Thanks a lot for your time.